If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, are there any cases where ADHD is a cause for social anxiety? Answer by Vyam Kaushik. Yes, social anxiety can coexist with ADHD and often ADHD can be a cause. The prevalence of social anxiety excessive worry about how one is perceived by others is markedly elevated in individuals with ADHD. A national epidemiological study of people with ADHD found that social anxiety is the most common of all psychiatric disorders co-occurring with ADHD. Almost 30% of adults with ADHD report also having social anxiety. This is considerably higher than the rate for this disorder in the general population, where a previous epidemiological study found the incidence to be about 13%. This may be because those with ADHD often live with considerable fear that their inattention problems will be noticed by others and cause them embarrassment. If you want a case study, I will take the liberty to quote a case from Thomas Brown's book. Mike was a lanky young man with thick black hair and a wide smile. He and his family were worried because had just dropped out of the state university because of low grades. Mike's problems with college were due to ADHD. After an IQ test, his performance was quite impressive in both the verbal and visual spatial domains he had actually scored in a very superior range, stronger than 99.9% .9 of students in his age group. Mike reported that his strong fears of being embarrassed were one of the reasons he often stopped attending some of his college courses. If he overslept for a morning class or didn't have a paper ready to hand in when I was due, or if he felt unprepared for a quiz or test, he would often skip that class session and then feel afraid to attend the next meeting. At Mike's assumption that others could readily notice weaknesses he perceived in himself is an example of what psychologists call the illusion of transparency or the spotlight effect. Several studies have shown that many people, especially this will suffer from social anxiety disorder, assume that others can discern far more about their uncomfortable internal state than actually is the case. I hope this helped. 1. Footnotes 1. Smart but stuck Answer by Stefan Ritchie I can tell you from my own personal experience As someone who has ADHD I find issues daily In social situations, like being awkward, being talkative, thinking too much, distracted I could go on, but these things over time have always made me feel like I'm not the same as others which has its role to play in my social anxiety. I suffer from depression also, so my case isn't merely ADHD equals social anxiety. There are many many factors to consider I feel when it comes to all mental disorders, everyone is unique, so everything in a case will be different to a certain extent. ADHD is really such a hard thing to deal with in my opinion, as it's like having a curse in my mind nobody can see or believe. It has in my own opinion been a massive player as to why I get frustrated easily at myself and I am aware it has some roots that progressed my depression along. I hope this insight helps you. Sorry if it was not as direct an answer you may have been looking for. Answer by Ray Van Pamelin. I feel like they can be related, but it's not necessarily one equals the other. It's also not very likely that social anxiety, if it is caused by ADHD, is only caused by ADHD. It can be caused by several other things along with ADHD. I myself believe I have some kind of anxiety, not necessarily social, and I have ADHD. They could be related, but it doesn't have to be. I think in my personal case, they aren't directly related. I hope this helped. X-Ray.